This is Aruna with 4-H News, and I'm here with Diane Ainsworth. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, you did. Okay, and you're an artist, and you've got some work here at the gallery. Yes, I have the big uh, screen piece downstairs in the lobby. It's a trifold screen that reverses, and it's an oil painting of trees. Did you see that one? I didn't see the reverse, but I did see the big screen. Okay, you'll have to go to the other side, because the big screen is trees. And I painted them from the trees across the street where I live on Jacob Miller Road looking up at them so it, it goes up at a, at a vertical uh, perspective and there wasn't room for the top so on the reverse side I painted the sky with the very tops of the trees. Well I think it was, it's was it been a couple of years ago when I woke up one morning and told my husband I was going to paint screens and he just said yeah and went back to sleep because he had to go and get the supplies and build the big uh, work for me to paint on but that's what I did. But we're a team and this is our business so so we work at it together. Okay, and the one thing I haven't asked the other artists is, um, so you make a living as an artist? Yes, I have for about 25 years. Okay, and I hear that isn't really easy. You know, you get the stereotype of the starving artist. Uh, that's very true. <laughs> so, how does that work? I mean, do you have to start your own business, or do you just... Yes, I get a bit. You get a business license, and my business is called Diane Ainsworth, my name, and I sell paintings out of my studio, and then also through galleries. I'm in about six galleries across the country, and that helps. And you know, you pay taxes like anybody else, and just kind of go from month to month. I also teach classes, and that gives me a little income every month. What other galleries are you in, and where are they? I'm in uh, in Port Townsend. Besides this gallery, I'm in Earthenworks, and then in Anacortes at the Scott Milo Gallery, and Bainbridge Island, Roby King, and then Taos, New Mexico at the Grimshaw Fine Art, and uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and Irwin Fine Art. So those keep me busy. So you've got some that's, that are out of state and actually kind of far away. Georgia's... Yes, it, it is, but it, it's good because different parts of the country sell at different times, and they also have different things they like. So I paint what I want, and then I send them, and we move them around if they don't sell in one spot or another. So what do you like best about being an artist? Uh, probably the freedom to really do what I want to do. And I feel so fortunate to make a living doing what I want to do. And that, that's success, even though some months it's really hard to buy the groceries and you worry about all those bills, but at least I'm doing what I want. Do you have any advice for starting artists who want to make their living just doing art? To uh, paint all the different types of things you can. Uh, I don't mean subjects as much as mediums and to be open and take from all the people that you are inspired by, you know. Because if you like their work, there's something in your brain that's the same. So you want to try that and become who you are. I think many people give up too early because they think, oh I tried and it doesn't look like this, but they've got an idea to paint like the other person. And you have to do it long enough to get your own style. It's like handwriting in grade school. You know when the teacher says this is the way you make a Y and everybody writes alike, but then later you write with feeling and your own style and that'll come through in painting too. Definitely. Thank you so much for talking with me. This is Arena Pongre with Diane Ainsworth with 4-H News.